Well, today is a big day because in about, we'll call it one hour to be safe. I was gonna say 20 minutes. It might be an hour. In about one hour, we will have officially completed the project of completely replacing our entire standing rigging by ourselves. And I say ourselves, but it's been, this has been Mike, clearly, through and through. He has done this himself. This is a really significant accomplishment. Not many people attempt to take this on. It's 4th of July, and so in honor of us, uh, there'll be a celebration tonight around the country. So you're welcome. I'm a little low on energy today. Yesterday was another long day. I, um, I don't think I filmed anything, but I uh, did a lot more cleaning. What else did I do? It's a lot of cleaning. I have no idea what I did yesterday. I can't even remember what I did. What did I do? But it was full. I was doing, I was cleaning and working all day and I can't even tell you what I did. It's like, I'm, I'm so tired. <laughs> it's been a long nine days. <laughs> anyway, we're almost there. But checking the standing rigging off the list is big. And that's about to happen right now. Is done. Was it nine days? Yeah, I think it was nine, nine days. Nine days of like 12 hours a day, sometimes more. Yep, you were definitely doing 12. And look what I get. Time to munch. Well done, Mike. Well deserved. Okay, bye. <laughs> flew out to Denver this morning so it's just me and the dummies on the boat and I was supposed to the rigger came out we were supposed to tune the rig this morning but it's windy and it's freaking cold it went from like a hundred degrees the other day and it feels like winter again it doesn't really feel like winter but it, compared to that it's cold uh, but anyway we decided it was a little too windy to properly tune the rig so I'm going to spend another night in the marina, but may as well check off the last few projects I got here. Let's see. Engine oil, check. Brake or filters, check. Ah, oh, shit, I guess that's it.
what a 24 hours we have had here. So, so I actually was away from the boat for the last four days. I flew out to Denver to visit an old friend um, and spend some time with her because I knew that if I didn't do it now, it was just gonna be really, really difficult to do. So squeezed in a little trip out of town, um, had a great time seeing her. So Mike had been fending for himself here on the boat for the last four days with the dogs. Um, he finished up the tuning by himself, he left the marina by himself, and he posted up at this little bay that we've spent a lot of time in. Um, so last night I was coming back from the airport and I just basically had to park up on this, like in this neighborhood, and then hike down with like my luggage <laughs> and a flashlight at about 10.30 p.m. Um, hike down this mountain to be able to go down to the beach where he dingied over in the dark to pick me up and bring me back to the boat. And what I came back to on the boat was a little bit of a drama in and of itself. So yesterday afternoon, Mike had a bunch of friends over on the boat. Um, I don't know, there's like a, a group of people and including a couple kids. And uh, it seems as if the kids may have created a little bit of a plumbing emergency on board. So there is a clog in our pipes. So you are working on finding the clog from 6.30 to 11. And Mike Def very seriously refers to yesterday as one of the top couple worst days of his entire life. It is apparently <laughs> Um, a really big problem and um, this is gonna be a big big fix so now what we have to do is we have to move the car back over to the marina so Mike is gonna drive me in the dinghy with the dogs back over to the beach we're gonna hike up the mountain top get to the car drive the car over to the marina and then Mike is gonna leave the anchorage all by himself sail or drive the boat over to the marina where I will meet him on the dock and help him dock and then he's going to continue this project so that's been the last 24 hours here, <laughs> coming back aboard. So the fun never ends. The fun never ends. Glamorous life of cruising. Hey, we made it back up to the car. Yeah, went on a little hike down here. Made it up to the top. Now we gotta find our way back to the marina while Mike pulls a banker all by himself. Oh my god, you did it. Okay, we're parked. So now we have now we have to replace our whole, our entire plumbing, essentially. I got a, I, last night I pinpointed which section of the line the clog is in. And so it's like full. So I have to disconnect both ends. I'm gonna have to saw through. There's a little stretch of PVC pipe I have to saw through while hoping that like all this sewage doesn't pour out of the hose and then extract the hose all as one and hopefully keep everything in it to not make a huge mess and then get rid of that. And then I can start replacing all the, all the hose. Okay, PVC goes through this cabinet wall. So I'll probably cut it. I know it's not clogged here, so I'll probably cut it here, extract it out this way. And I think the clog is probably in this elbow or it's somewhere up this hose. The hose runs up to the bottom of the cabinet and goes through this vented loop. I took this off yesterday and this hose is just full. And this is not full. This one, this one was empty, this one was full. So I know it's in here. So I have to cut this out and extract this hose. Hopefully, hopefully without spilling all the disgusting stuff that's inside of it. It's 
6.30 p.m. <laughs> uh, we pulled in here, I think, at noon. So Mike put in six hours of work today and I think four hours of work yesterday. Um, and he has just announced that the head is functioning and he has fixed this clog. <laughs> it's working. It's working. It's working. <laughs> oh man. There's still a lot of like little things like putting the labels back on and stuff, but who knew how much drama could ensue after one little kid? <laughs> Ten hours and several hundred dollars later. <laughs> our toilet in our house works again. I think it's a blessing in disguise, like seeing how much buildup there was in there. Yeah. Like, I mean, that could have happened when we were out at sea or, you know, to us or in Mexico where it was like, you know, much harder to do this. Yeah. So it's one of those things like I really wanted to get this done. It just was like such a gross. Yeah. An, an awful <laughs> job and not like necessary for safety so much. Right. You know? Right. So it just got put to the back burner and yeah. <laughs> I tell you what, I'm really missing, I'm really missing life at Anchorage, at Anchor. I'm really missing life at Anchor, that's what I'm trying to say. Because we pulled in here at the end of June and we're now in mid-July and we've been at the dock the whole time. Mike was just out for a few nights, but I was in Denver, so I'm ready to get out, you know? I'm ready to get back out. So, very soon. Join us next time as we finally get to leave the dock and get back out in the wild and make some final preparations for leaving the Pacific Northwest for good. Change all of our addresses, we closed the mailbox and today we got rid of our car. Shit's like getting real.